Good morning, folks. My name is Curtis Chandler. I'm president of PFL. This is now our third podcast. We are hopefully getting better. I promise you it will over the next few weeks. We plan on going live 9 a.m. Eastern just before the markets open in a couple weeks and want this podcast to be meaningful for your business, um, providing what we like to call as relentless customer service. Of course, it's free and um, you know, we welcome you to uh, uh, pass along the good work. My IT guys remain super excited, and that excites me. Uh, please like us on your social media platform. That will make uh, everyone around here feel really, really good. Uh, our weekly quote this week from people that we believe are really, really smart comes from Charles Munger. As many of you know, uh, Charles is investor, businessman, former real estate attorney, and is vice chairman of conglomerate Berkshire Hathaway, which of course is controlled by uh, Warren Buffett. He says, spend each day trying to be a little bit wiser than you were when you woke up. Discharge your duties faithfully and well. Systematically, you get ahead, but not necessarily in fast spurts. Nevertheless, you build discipline by preparing for fast spurts. Slug it out one inch at a time and day by day. At the end of the day, if you live long enough, most people get what they deserve. Uh, one day at a time, folks, this is a very, very appropriate uh, uh, quote or, or saying, uh, especially through the times that we're going through. Well, it was another crazy day in the markets, which is, I guess, now the new norm. The Labor Department stated on Thursday of last week that U.S. workers filed an additional 1.4 million jobless claims, bringing the total job losses since the cannabis pandemic to 50 and a half million people. Uh, folks, that's the population in Great Britain. Many of the jobless claims are now permanent losses as a slew of companies are announcing layoffs and some businesses don't have the capacity to weather the storm. Of course, those businesses that go bankrupt or, or out of business, someone else will come in and at some point in time pick up those pieces, but it's going to be a long time for recovery in our opinion at PFL. Looks as though Congress seems to think that paying people and printing money is the way to go to fix the problem as the battle continues there as we speak. Rail traffic uh, uh, in week 29 was up over week uh, 28, uh, but is still down 7.5% year over year. Bankruptcies of over-leveraged companies is in full force and cars are being returned to car owners prematurely. PFL can certainly help uh, lessen the pain by parking cross cars across PFL's uh, North American network, have cars repaired within this network without having to go to shop and of course market uh, unwanted cars for lease. If there's anything that PFL can uh, troubleshoot for you, we're certainly here to help. It costs you nothing to give us a call and uh, let us know your situation and uh, we can give you suggested solutions whether or not uh, you decide to use our services going forward. We're happy to be here for the industry. Overall, uh, last week the markets were mixed. The Dow closed lower on Friday down 102, 182 points in overnight Futures, uh, Dow's up and is expected to open higher by approximately 108 points. Oil traded up 22 cents on Friday, closing at 41.29, up 70 cents per barrel week over week. It's trading slightly lower this morning, down roughly 15 cents and is expected to open at uh, 41.14 a barrel. Is there going to be a crude by rail comeback, folks? Well, time will tell, but there's certainly a lot of talk, people positioning themselves, 
And there's three situations we're currently monitoring. Uh, number one, will the Dakota Access uh, pipeline be shut down? Uh, the deadline to have filed supporting briefs uh, in regards to DAPL appeals case passed last week on Thursday, July 24th. A total of 14 legal briefs were filed. The court's decision on an emergency say could come any time in the next few weeks. We don't see how DAPL can be shut down, but stranger things have happened. If DAPL is shut down, expect a significant increase in crude by rail traffic out of the Bakken. Uh, second point or situation we're monitoring is will Marathon's High Plains crude oil pipeline out of North Dakota be shut down? The U.S. Interior Department of Bureau Bureau of Indian Affairs ordered it shut after determining the pipeline was trespassing on Native American land. Marathon said on Friday of last week that it tends to appeal. This pipeline uh, transports 270,000 barrels a day of, of crude out of North Dakota. Uh, this has not been a good year for North Dakota, but could prove to be a significant tailwind for crude by rail. The third item that we're, we've got our eyes on is Canadian producers are increasing production and on the back of that we're seeing widest basis differentials in the forward curve seemingly favorable for crude by rail. On Q2 earning calls next week, two Canadian heavyweight oil giants said they are ready to begin their crude by rail programs in a moment's notice. Uh, we go into great detail on this in our rail report uh, this morning. Uh, please, please have a look at it, read it, pass it along. I think you'll uh, find it interesting. Well, in the week to come, Congress returned from its break and there's going to be a lot of money printed and spent. People will get checks. Again, to what extent, we don't know. Uh, Nancy wants to keep the $600 paychecks program going while the GOP wants to cut it back as it views it is incentivizing people to not even look for jobs and some are making more money by not working. The Dems want to bail out uh, blue states and the GOP don't want to have any part of it due to what they feel is fiscal mismanagement. They were already in trouble and uh, certainly certain states weren't. Uh, but one thing's for sure, there's going to be a lot of money spent uh, at this 10 seconds. We don't know exactly how much. Well, that's all, folks. We hope you have a great, safe week and we'll see you next Monday. PFL has been extremely active in storage and all rail-related activities. Make sure to check out our just posted reports at www.pflpetroleum.com or give us a call to troubleshoot any questions or any concerns you may have at 239-390-2885. Thank you and have a great week.